my dear learners, welcome to our basic uh, arithmetic uh, study. We are going to start uh, talking about fractions and uh, mixed numbers. In this uh, particular video, we are going to see what are fractions and uh, especially positive fractions. So, fractions are expressions that we generally write uh, as a over b where a and b are both whole numbers so a and b are whole numbers and uh, b always different from zero so a can be any whole number and b can be any whole number except zero so the number if we look at a and b a is on top and b is at the bottom so uh, the number on top can be anything, any whole number, include zero. But the number at the bottom can never be zero. It has to be different from zero. So if I say my fraction is x over y, x can be any whole number. But y can never be equal zero. Y can be any other whole number except zero. If I say my fraction is c over d, c can be any number. Zero, one, two, three, negative one, negative two, whatever it is, any whole number. But for d, I can not do the same thing because I cannot write zero there. The bottom has always to be different from zero. For a given fraction a over b, right, a and b are called terms. So, if I write an example of fraction a over 7, 3 and 7 are my terms. If I put 2 over 9, 2 and 9 are my terms. 5 over 2, 5 and 2 are my terms. 17 over 4, 17 and 4 are my terms. And the numbers that I have at the top are called numerators. And the numbers that I have at the bottom are called denominators. And we separate these two bottom and the top numbers with this horizontal line that we call the fraction bar. So we have to note right away that it's not every time that we just write an horizontal bar. Uh, sometimes in order to save some space, uh, we just write it 3 over 7. It's the same thing as what is on top of it. But in this case, uh, there is no horizontal line here, and uh, we are saving some space right here. You can write 2 over 9 like this. You can write 5 over 2 like this, and we can write 17 over 4 like this. So this is equal to this. They are same. So now I have the same 3 over 7, 2 over 9, 5 over 2, 17 over 4. So I have been calling, I have been reading my fraction. So how do we read a fraction then? We start with the number on top and we say over the number at the bottom. So if I write 6 and 5, I'll write 6 over 5. There are other ways of reading fractions. Let's say I still have this 6 and this 5. So I will read it 6 fifth. Right? If I have 1 over 4, I can still read it 1 fourth. If I have 2 and 3, I can read this. 2 over 3, or I can read it 2 thirds. Now we can have a positive and negative fractions. 
but for now let's just focus on positive fraction with uh, positive numbers or positive terms so the top the denominator will be a positive number and the numerator will be positive number bottom and top will be positive numbers what are positive fractions then they are fractions that represent parts of a whole so if i can explain better in order to talk about positive fraction the whole has to be divided into many equal parts and some of this equal part has to be taken in consideration for instance taking three parts of a square that is sliced into four equal parts let's represent it i have a square sliced into four equal parts one two three four and then i'm taking three parts of the the whole so one part second part third part and for this i can write it as a fraction i took three parts over four if i take a rectangle if i consider a rectangle that is divided into three equal parts and uh, i just use one part so let's say i use one part how do i write this in terms of fractions divided into three parts and i use one part so that's one over three or one third so for your uh, exercise if i have a this circle that is divided into eight one two three four five six seven eight parts and i'm using two parts of it how do i write this is in terms of fraction so take one second and write it and then i'll give you the answer the answer is from eight part i took two so we can just write it like this for now and uh, we will continue we will learn more about fraction in the next videos so for now we stop here i'll see you in the next video but uh, before you go you know what to do don't forget to subscribe to like to share to comment ask your questions ask questions if something is not understandable and uh, together we'll try to figure out and make it understandable for you that's why we are here to help each other so thank you and uh, see you very soon